here with you this morning. I actually was at the STEER conference this weekend, so I came from Bismarck this morning. So I'm um, happy to be here with you, and I'm living in Fargo now, so I'm happy I didn't have to drive from Fargo this morning. Um, just from Bismarck, it's a little bit closer. Um, so just a reminder um, about what New Hope Uganda does. We bring the fatherhood of God to the fatherless, and we take care um, of about 600 orphans at a time. And maybe you remember that my daughter and my daughter, um, Biru, and I, we moved back to America in June. At the end of June, we moved to Fargo. Biru is 19 now, and she just got her CNA license, and she is looking for work as a CNA. She wants to be a nurse, but I told her she has to work for one year first before she starts college and I want her to really make sure that she wants to be a nurse. So that's why she's going to work as a CNA. She's looking for work, and there's lots of places in Fargo hiring. So she's not with me today, but um, that's where we're living. I still work with New Hope, and um, our president here in America um, asked me to be a donor representative. He said, Nancy, you have such great stories. I don't have any stories. I only go to Uganda for two weeks or so a year. You have great stories. You know the kids. You know their stories. So would you please be a donor representative? So that's what I've been doing um, since I've been back. I'm a donor representative for the ministry, and I'm also, about 25% of the time, I'm helping with missionary care and development. And I particularly try to look after our single women. So we have um, some single ladies in Uganda. I try to touch base with them, kind of be an outside ear, and encourage them and look after them. So in Uganda, we just celebrated 30 years of ministry and taking care of children. And every five years, we have homecoming. And our homecoming was the last weekend of August, or the first weekend of September, really. And we had 2,000 people come home. And that was such an exciting time for us to see our kids that grew up at New Hope come home. Some of them brought their children with them. And we're so thankful that our children who are orphans were seeing them get married and be responsible parents and really raising their children up. And we're so thankful for the fruit that we're seeing in their lives. Um, so I just want to mention two ways that you can pray for the ministry. One is that we really need sponsors for our children, and if you're interested in being a sponsor, I do have, um, I have information about it on a little card in the back, but I just want to say sponsorship is a commitment, and so it's not just sending money, it's praying for a child, it's writing letters to them, but if you're interested in doing that, there are cards on the back. But our goal this year is to have a total of 300 new sponsors for our kids. So that's one prayer request. The second one is we're trying to build a church at our Cobwin Children's Center. It's actually part of our Dakota Project. And um, the Dakota Project is just a group of men who have all been to New Hope. They're all from North or South Dakota. And every year they choose about five projects that they really get behind. And so they've already built a classroom um, at our Colgan Children's Center. And now we're trying to build the church. So if you're interested in giving money towards that, um, let me know. We, we need $20,000. We've gotten 1025 so we have a ways to go, but that's one thing that we're really working on is building money, and I don't have many of these flyers left. The STEER conference wiped me out, which is good. I'm not complaining. I'm glad people took them. So that's one. And then lastly, please pray for me. I am doing a lot of traveling on Wednesday. I'm going to Michigan to a Christian college there to see if I can recruit some teachers. Um, and, and then I'm meeting with some of our sponsors out there and speaking at a church. So just lots of travel. Um, when I'm traveling, Biru, my daughter, is with my sister Kay. 
Um, and so I'm, I'm glad that we, we actually live with Kay in Fargo, and I'm thankful for that. But just pray for safety for me, particularly as winter seems to have started earlier than expected this year. So, yes, thank you so much for standing behind the Ministry of New Hope.